topic for today is all about flat earth. Almost all of what you've been taught is a lie. Galileo, Aristophanes, Copernicus. The pictures of them show that they're masons, but I contend that we don't even know if they're real. All of our history is a lie. I've met people that said that they were taught flat earth in the early 1960s in school. They were taught flat earth and globe earth, and then it kind of just went away. I interviewed Ruth, the 102 year old woman back in February of 2020, and she was taught flat earth uh, in public school in Connecticut. Tell me your name. Ruth. Heath. Ruth, and how old are you today? 102. 102. So you were born in? 1918. 1918. And um, we were just talking, and I asked you what, what shape the earth is, and what did you say? What were you taught in school, when, in elementary school? I was taught school? in school that the earth was flat. Where did you go to school, Ele elementary school? I went to school Glen school in Hamden, Connecticut. So how does it make you feel to realize that you were right as a I, kid? It makes me feel better. It, it does make you feel better, right? Oh, it makes me feel alive. My whole, oh my God, that is so true. My whole life, I believe, yes. you know, what I was taught. That's and then true. when I discovered the flat earth. You feel better you about it.
away from Antarctica. No one's flying directly over it. They always take a weird route. Like, there was an airplane that was going from the Philippines to Los Angeles, which should be a straight route, Philippines to Los Angeles. Mid-flight, a woman, her water broke. So they had to make an uh, emergency landing. They could have either just turned around or kept going to Los Angeles. Somehow they ended up in Alaska. So the flight plan to get them from Philippines to Alaska, if you put it on the flat earth map, it's a straight line from the Philippines to Alaska. But when you put it on a globe, it makes no sense. Right? <laughs> so there You're the pilot? Hi. How long have you been flying for? Uh, like, for Delta 21 years, but maybe like 30 something. I want to know, um, because they say the pilots know a lot. Do you uh -huh. think the Earth is flat or not? <laughs> I know it's flat. You know it's flat? <laughs> How long have you been flying for, you said? Over 30 years. And when people, when you tell people that, do they think you're like crazy or? Only one person. Only one person? <laughs> yeah, you're recording it. Well, Pam, here's a good depiction of what Globers think is causing the tides. Is the moon. And this is where they think they live. And you're spinning water ball where water somehow sticks to it. Oh, that's right. Y'all have a universal answer for everything you can't explain on a spinning water ball in outer space. Gravity. It has to exist if the Earth is a ball. Obviously, it's not. But they had to make it up for the Earth to make sense. Ha, 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 ha.